Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Gary Christensen, mayor of the city of Malden, and I think, as most of you know by now, I have a very serious nature to my personality, but I must admit today, I'm going to smile a little bit. But well, today is a great day for the city of Malden. And just to bring you back as to how we arrived here today, Governor Patrick uh, right after the election of the new mayors across the Commonwealth suggested that we take some time to get to know his team, his secretariats. And um, I could not be more pleased a year and a half later to have done that for the Secretary of Housing and Community Development, Greg Bialecki, has been a true partner for the city of Malden. One of the things that we have realized early on that uh, we cannot, you know, do it alone. And credit to uh, Secretary Bialecki and Governor Patrick and his entire team. Uh, they have helped answer the call. And so um, I'm here today on what is known as 11, 12, 13, where people are getting married, people are playing the lottery, and Malden Square is being revitalized, thanks to Secretary Bialecki and his great staff and the Governor Patrick and his amazing team. So with that being said, I don't want to steal the thunder of the Secretary, but I would like to call him up and give him a big round of applause. Thank you, Thank you Mayor. Well, it's great to be back uh, in Malden, and uh, Governor Patrick and I had a wonderful time just a few weeks ago, actually on a beautiful fall day, uh, touring the downtown and seeing all the amazing work that's happening here. <laughs> Uh, and it's quite clear to us uh, that there is a great uh, community consensus around uh, continuing growth and revitalization of downtown Malden, not only on behalf of you, Mayor, and behalf of the City Council, uh, but from local businesses as well. So we have public investment uh, in downtown Malden. We have a lot of private investment as well, both in housing uh, and in business. Uh, and Governor Patrick, you probably uh, heard or seen about Governor Patrick as a believer in grassroots politics and how he got the office. Well, he's also a believer in uh, grassroots governing, uh, and he believes very strongly that the way we are going to grow housing and economic development in this state uh, is really by looking to our communities uh, and seeing what their vision is uh, for how they can grow and the ways that they can grow that make their communities stronger and better. And we certainly saw a very powerful uh, and consensus vision about what should happen uh, here in Malden. Uh, but there is at least one very large obstacle standing in the way of that progress. We happen to be in it right now. Uh, and it was, uh, as evidenced by this backdrop, it was uh, an earlier idea of what would make uh, Mo downtown Malden great uh, to be put it, to put a very large public building uh, in the minute in the middle of one of the downtown uh, streets uh, as a way to make Malden great. And we see from what's happening now with all the new residents here, uh, with all the new businesses that are opening here, uh, the people on the street, uh, that in fact this is not uh, helping. Uh, a revitalization of Malden. We have a, uh, a great Orange Line stop uh, just on the other side of this building. Uh, and so, in fact, um, under the local leadership, uh, really uh, a decision uh, that this building should step aside and that there ought to be a redevelopment of these parcels that respects this street, reconnects the street grid, brings people closer to the Orange Line stop. And the governor and I just feel very strongly that's a tremendously powerful and important community vision, and we very much want to support it. And I'm so therefore pleased uh, to be here today on behalf of Governor Patrick to announce a $3 million commitment from our state's Mass Works program. <laughs> where we provide uh, state resources, infrastructure money to help communities like Malden to realize their vision, particularly a vision uh, that embraces new residents and new businesses with what you all uh, are doing here. So this funds will be used uh, to help the city defray uh, and address the cost uh, of demolishing the building, reconnecting the roadway, uh, and creating uh, the physical conditions on these sites to make them most attractive uh, to new developers. We know we've already seen some very strong developer uh, interest 
Um, but as is typically the case when you're trying to get public and private partnerships together, you're trying to encourage private developers into a vision of what this all would look like. Uh, and it's hard to do uh, with a big building sitting here and without uh, a credible basis to say that on the public side, we're ready to do our part uh, to facilitate um, a redevelopment uh, of this site. So hopefully this uh, commitment of $3 million from the state uh, will be a very strong message from us uh, that Governor Patrick is on the same page with the city of Malden and we want to push very hard. This is a very real plan to do this redevelopment. It's a very serious plan. We're committed to it with you uh, in the city and we're going to work very hard to, to make it happen. I do want to uh, th uh, thank, recognize and thank a number of people, Representative Donato, our great partner in the legislature, uh, this MassWorks grant and the other uh, investments in our public infrastructure uh, would not be possible. We announced, I heard, I'm sure you heard the governor announced just a couple weeks ago, uh, finally uh, a new procurement for Orange Lines cars, which is only a couple decades overdue, uh, given the useful life of those, expected useful life of those Orange Line cars. Uh, so these investments are only possible with the support of the legislature, even though it's been a very difficult economic time, obviously, for all of us in the state. Uh, the governor and the legislature uh, have continued to insist that there are some investments that we are making, uh, not only for today, but for the next generation, and we must continue to make those investments regardless of the challenges of the economic time. So thank you very much. Uh, I'd also like to acknowledge and thank Mark Drayson and folks from MAPC uh, who have been great partners with us in a number of ways, but uh, we're excited that most recently we've uh, yet uh, agreed on another partnership uh, where MAPC will be helping us to systematically identify places in Malden and in these other uh, surrounding communities immediately north of Boston that we've been calling Metro North. But these, uh, there are seven communities immediately north of the city of Boston that have really been, like Malden, that have really, uh, there's a lot of development interest, a lot of uh, uh, f people and families want to live here, a lot of businesses want to locate here, and they're finding, uh, not only here in Malden, but also in your neighbor's mayor, uh, city government that's interested uh, in welcoming the new investment and new residents and new businesses, and, and uh, the private uh, parties who are here are finding that uh, government is uh, uh, easy to work with and is interested in helping them achieve uh, their successes. So uh, Mark is, and MAPC are going to help us identify uh, what we think are the, uh, the best places responsive to the community's preferences, but taking into account the infrastructure that's available here. Uh, and then helping us in the way they do think about systematically, whether it's zoning, permitting, further infrastructure work, what is really necessary uh, in order to make these projects a success not only to make them successful, but to make them successful in a way that the uh, communities do feel that they are stronger and better for these new developments to have uh, come into their neighborhoods. And uh, my thanks to the council president and members of the council uh, as well. As I mentioned before, it also uh, it's great uh, for the governor and for me to see uh, that a community that has really come together about uh, a, a very shared vision for a strong uh, downtown and we're glad to be uh, a part of that. So we very much uh, look forward to this continuing partnership. The next step, I think, is going to be for the city to take with respect to the evaluation of the proposals uh, that it has received. Uh, but I'm pleased about the timing of it because I do believe that this will put us in a position, Mayor, when we're talking with development proponents that they can see how the city and the state are very serious to make uh, this vision into a reality. So congratulations, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Secretary, and um, you know, life is about goals and dreams, and um, this has been a long-standing one of our community. So, Mr. Secretary, again, to help us with this, this is something uh, we will never forget. Uh, I also just want to, once again, thank the governor uh, and your team, because one of the things coming in was that they wanted cities and towns like ours to start partnering up to help compete uh, for those students who, upon graduation, are looking not just in Massachusetts, but all over the country on where to live, work, and grow. And uh, thanks to the Secretary and the Governor, he has, he has us now working cooperatively to start trying to fill uh, the gap of uh, the city of Boston, which will never have you know, all the space that is going to be needed to compete 
uh, for this next group of uh, residents growing up. So thanks again, Mr. Secretary. I would now like to call upon um, someone who is just as much in contact with us as Secretary Bialecki, and that's our State Representative, Paul Donato. You know, um, the vision that the mayor's office has with the cooperation and the partnership with the council and the work of uh, the governor and his secretariat and your legislative delegation, we are thrilled that this is a great opportunity for the continued revitalization of the downtown Malden area, but more important, the continued building of a strong city of Malden with economic development. And I can say from our legislative delegation, Mr. Mayor, we love the fact that you smile, even though you're very serious. And I can promise you this, that the delegation is going to look high and low for as much support as we can, both physical and financial, to keep that smile going for as long as we can. So again, on behalf of uh, the Malden delegation at your legislative level, I thank um, you, Mr. Secretary, the governor, but more important, we are here to look at once more this building, and uh, I think uh, we want, you have a sledgehammer, we want to be here to uh, be the first ones to knock one of these bricks down. So good luck. and. I also, just before I introduce the next speaker, I do want to acknowledge um, some folks who have been working diligently behind the scenes that don't get the recognition they deserve. Uh, off to my left, we have uh, Ron Hogan. He's been working closely to my right with Kevin Duffy, uh, Debbie Burke off to my left, uh, Maria Luis, and a whole host of others that have been assisting us in trying to, you know, take... Um, the partnership that the Secretary has provided us in make uh, this a reality. So, but let me uh, just bring up the next speaker by letting you all know that uh, this cannot happen without the support and uh, guidance of the Malden City Council. And that's why it gives me great pleasure in introducing uh, the President, someone who has been uh, up in the Mayor's office continuously to try and make this dream a reality, and that is uh, Neil Anderson my friend and president of the City Council. Thank you, President. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, let's keep that smile on the mayor's face. Let's keep inviting the secretary and the governor to come to Malden, because we love it when you come and bear gifts. And so this is a gift that uh, we are certainly, certainly pleased to have um, this partnership that we've talked about here, uh, the governor, the secretary, the mayor's office, the redevelopment authority, and the city council, along with our, our delegation from the state legislature, is a partnership that works well for all of us. And that uh, this gift that the secretary comes bearing uh, is certainly going to help us in the revitalization. And so we're all on the same page. I'm happy to be here representing the Malden City Council in a partnership in this relationship of taking this old building. And I have to tell you that I've been around long enough to, to remember when this building was first going up and we thought that this was the greatest thing since sliced bread, the uh, taking and putting City Hall right here. This, was, this kind of development project was going to be the one that was going to help revitalize our downtown area. But time moves on and uh, development plans change and, and uh, uh, the way of doing business changes and it certainly is a time for us to, uh, to remove this building, to open up this Pleasant Street, to bring in the kind of development that is so attracted to this location because of this great orange line that stops right across the street. So we're so pleased that the governor and secretary and all of us are seeing this picture. We're all seeing it, uh, looking, singing from the same hymn book. And so I'm glad to be here and be a part of this. I do want to acknowledge uh, 
uh, our, our newest counselor elect, our newest uh, city council member, counselor elect Debbie De Maria, who is uh, was elected, was elected uh, at this last election, and is now enjoying these festivities that go on, where she can be be here and participate in these great activities and movements that take place in the city. So, on behalf of of uh, all of the residents of of the city, uh, I'm glad to be here and glad to be a part of this. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you once again. Before I end, I just want to let everyone know that we have a, a lot of work to do, um, but thanks to the Secretary being the impetus, I'm confident we can do it. Uh, and I also want to just use this uh, moment to say thank you for being here and to really thank uh, the community at large who have you know, cared enough to let us know that they want a vibrant downtown, they want Pleasant Street reconnected, they want this building demolished, and uh, they were the driving force, and we're looking forward to meet their expectations and, um, and sell you a commemorative brick at some point soon. So with that being said, uh, thank you. We'll take any questions that uh, we may have at this moment. And we'll bring up the president and state representative and secretary. All right. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, thank you for taking my question. Nathan Lamb from the Malden Observer. Um, I was just curious in terms of conditions of the grants, does it have a sunset that you need to use the funding by and is it uh, contingent on the city reaching an agreement to redevelop the parcel or is the grant available to the city under any scenario? So it is a, the second part of your question. So it is a grant to facilitate the redevelopment. So it represents our commitment on behalf of the state uh, that uh, assuming we continue to make progress and that uh, we can, uh, the city can find a good development partner and a good plan uh, for the redevelopment of the site that makes sense to the community, uh, that we will support that and we will make uh, that contribution. Uh, we have not, uh, we, we will talk with the mayor about w what a sunset looks like. You know, we in, uh, for most, I will admit this is a proposal, this is a little different than a lot of the work that we do. Often when we are making a Mass Works uh, infrastructure grant, uh, we are uh, doing the approval, uh, upgrade of a road or of a sewer system. Uh, and it's fair for us to say to the community, we really expect you to start work next spring and, and finish it within a year or so. Uh, and for those uh, more straightforward projects, we do uh, have some hard and fast timelines. Uh, for this one, we will work with uh, the mayor and the city uh, to understand, I think, um, I haven't been worried about setting an outside timeline too much because if you talk to the mayor very long, um, I don't really think we need to light a, a fire under the mayor to keep things moving here. It's not been my impression. Uh, so uh, we, the pace that he's described in terms of moving things along is one we're very comfortable with. The other question, and actually I just want to confirm, so it, it is contingent on having a redevelopment plan in place. Right. Um, the other one I'm curious about is uh, I heard recently that all four of the RFPs for redevelopment of City Hall were also interested in redeveloping the parcel with the police department as well. Uh, can you confirm uh, that information at this point in time? Yes, it is uh, true that they are interested in the entire site, which you know we weren't surprised by when the proposals were made because I think it's probably more conducive to a developer to be able to do something all at once as opposed to phasing it in. There's probably more economies of scale for them. Now that obviously makes it a little bit more challenging for us, but credit to our uh, police chief, Kevin Molas, who I think is here in attendance off to my right. He has already made it known that he's going to be looking to work with uh, the president and our team to do whatever it takes to achieve this long sought after goal. Can I just jump in and say something? Yeah, let me just follow up with that and tell you that uh, I've been pleased to be uh, involved in reviewing the uh, development proposals that have been coming in, and I think what the uh, potential developers have have seen is the same picture that we see, that this is a great location for development of uh, residential and, and mixed-use uh, 
of, of this area, of opening up this street. Again, we're right across the street from not only an orange line stop on the, uh, on the subway, but also a commuter rail stop. So this is, uh, this is hot property right now, and, uh, and we're pleased to be able to take full advantage of that. And I think these developers have, have seen that and, and have come forward in a, in, a, in a very positive, positive way. Yeah, one of our recent meetings with the Asian American Real Estate Association, uh, they did indicate anything along the T quarter in Malden is uh, going as soon as it's put up. And so to support what President Anderson had said, this is another good opportunity to take advantage of knowing that uh, this area around, uh, you know, transit uh, stations makes sense. And this is something that, you know, that the other thing that we like is it supports Secretary Bialecki's goal as well as Governor Patrick's to, you know, really build up around, um, you know, transit development. Any other questions we can answer? Anybody else? If not, we're going to be milling around after if you have any other questions that we missed. If not, uh, once again, thank you for being here, and we look forward to working with you. And see you at the uh, groundbreaking. Okay. All right, everybody. Okay.